بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو ایل ڈیپ ٹو ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس دا روٹیشنل بلینڈنگ اینڈ جنرل ٹائپ آف بلینڈنگ ڈیٹیل بٹ بفور دیٹ لیٹ می شو یو دا پیرل بلینڈ آپشن ان کریو انوائرمنٹ آلسو یو نو سو رائٹ ناؤ آئی ایم ان دا کریو انوائرمنٹ اینڈ آئی ایم ان دا پارٹ ماڈیول so if you in the provision menu if you click on the shapes you will find that parallel blend option so if i click on that it will take you to the uh, parallel blend menu and uh, you can see uh, different uh, options or parameters related to the parallel blending uh, in the dashboard area so like uh, pro e uh, it uh, does not uh, pop up that particular dialog box which normally guides you through the procedure of uh, the blend command or any other command so uh, in the creo you have to do all those steps by yourself you know so that is why normally i uh, uh, say to my students that uh, if you are a beginner user so it is always better to start with the proe and then you can switch uh, later on to the creo version because in most of the commands uh, pro e uh, guides you through that particular dialog box uh, step by step so anyhow uh, let us uh, start with the parallel type of blend in creo so at the main dashboard area you can see uh, all those options uh, which normally you have in the uh, pro e also so you can blend multiple two or multiple objects as a solid body you can use the surface options uh, you can use the thicken option and then you do have these two uh, modes of the profiles uh, available in which you can go for a new uh, profile sketching within the uh, command or if you already have uh, created the sketches and you simply want to select them so you can use the uh, selected sections options uh, if you look uh, at the tabs uh, of the dashboard so again uh, the section tab is red in color and this means that uh, that particular uh, option needs your attention so if i click on that so you will Uh, see the sub options of that particular tab uh, which is again those two options so you can go for a new sketch or you can go for the selection of existing sketch yeah, so we do not have any sketches so i will again use the sketch sections options okay, so ye aap yahan se bhi select kar sakte hain uh, or you can use these uh, shortcut tabs as well so uh, right now in the listing Uh, we have only uh, section one tab available and uh, you will have to define that you know so section one you have active hai. you can select it from an existing sketches or you can define okay. so uh, i will hit the define key so as soon you uh, click on that uh, button so as uh, you are want to sketch that profile so you have to select the sketching plan and then the orientation for that so let me pick suppose this top plan as my sketching plan and i will leave the orientation to the default value which is the right plan and it will be parallel to the right side of the screen then i will hit the sketch key so here now you can sketch any close profile for the blending so let me again Uh, start with the circle so if i make a simple profile you can dimension it to any value so let us convert it to some round figure uh, for example 350 units so uh, one thing uh, that we did not cover in the previous video uh, with reference to parallel blending is the uh, for example uh, if you want to blend a circle to uh, any close profile that has multiple edges you know we did cover all other options uh, but 
सर्कल रेक्टेंगल सर्कल पेंटागन और सर्कल विथ मल्टीपल एजेस ऑप्शन वी डिड नॉट कवर दैट सो सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू मेक नेक्स्ट सेक्शन एज रेक्टेंगल देन और एनी अदर क्लोज एंड टी सो सपोज आवर नेक्स्ट सेक्शन विल बी रेक्टेंगल सो रेक्टेंगल और स्क्वायर हैज फोर एजेस और यू कैन से फोर कॉर्नर्स सो यू मस्ट देन हैव फोर पॉइंट्स अवेलेबल ऑन दैट सर्कल आल्सो बिकॉज राइट नाउ वी डू नॉट हैव एनी पॉइंट्स अराउंड दैट सर कंफ्रेंशल पैराफ्री सो वी डू हैव द सेंटर पॉइंट्स बट द सेंटर पॉइंट कैन ओनली बी जॉइंट विद a point which we did in the last video uh, for example if you want to make a conical section so you can use then the circle and a point option uh, but uh, not in this case if you have a rectangle or let us say a triangle or pentagon or hexagon so then you must define uh, those number of points on that uh, periphery so for that you have to edit uh, then the uh, circle and uh, we can easily define points by dividing that circle in in the total number of points that we will be needing so here uh, suppose if i want to divide this circle in four points so you can always go to the edit menu and edit menu mein agar aap dekhte hain to you can find that uh, divide option so it is available so uh, divide command basically uh, divides uh, any Uh, segment into the desired number of segments uh, that uh, you will define so if i hit the divide key uh, so then it will ask you to uh, pick a point on that circumferential area so i can take any point as my uh, dividing uh, point so as we need four points so i will start uh, with the quadrants you know, so this is let us say my first point dividing point this is the second dividing point this is third and this one is the next one so i have divided this uh, circle uh, into four segments so uh, right now uh, we do not have uh, a circle but we do have four arcs you know so we have four points and then those four points can be uh, joined with the uh, square or rectangle you know so once you complete the sketch so you can click on the now if you go back to the section tab so here you can see in the list that uh, you have one section and uh, now you will be requiring uh, at least one section more to uh, go with the blend command you know, so and of course we are using the parallel blend option so the next section that you will draw or sketch uh, that will be uh, by default parallel to that existing circle and then uh, Uh, we will also define the offset distance in between those two sketches you know so uh, and of course you can go back to section number 1 if i click on section number 1 so you can edit that you know so you can go back uh, you can do your editing commands and then uh, simply click on the okay button i uh, will update the existing entity so right now i will uh, click on section number 2 and i will uh, define that so you have to sketch that uh, but before that uh, you also have to set those parameters that uh, what uh, or how the second section will be uh, created so again i will use the offset dimensions uh, like we did in the in my previous video in proe so i can use some reference uh, reference will be an existing plane or sketch or something else uh, but let me use the offset dimension because uh, that uh, part was covered in the proe so i will give the offset dimension and that offset value will be given through this uh, text box so suppose i want to have a uh, 200 units distance in between the uh, entities so it will be 200 and uh, what will be the reference for that so as uh, i have selected the sketch option so it will be from section number 1 uh, which was that circle which we had divided uh, it in four uh, different segments you know so right now we only have that particular uh, profile so agar aapke paas multiple uh, sketches hongi profiles hongi 
so then uh, it will be available in those listing and then you can uh, set that offset distance uh, with any reference okay? so you will set those parameters and then simply uh, hit the sketch tab so it will again bring you back to the uh, sketcher mode and then uh, whatever sketch uh, you make here it will become the second profile okay? so as i said i will go for a rectangle so let me make a rectangle okay? and uh, uh, look at the uh, starting point of the uh, rectangle so my koi bhi point le sakta hu but suppose i want to start it from this end you know and this is the other corner okay? so i am in this direction so this is this will be the first point of the rectangle and uh, as uh, i have defined the other corner in the clockwise direction so this will be your first point second point third point and fourth point and normally uh, blending mein maine aapko bataya tha ke it will join the first uh, end point of the first profile with the first of the second you know so it will try to uh, right now in this case it will be impossible because it has to twist that particular edge along this edge so it may give uh, an error so that can be fixed later on but let us say uh, this is our first point of the second entity and this was the first point of the uh, first profile so uh, when you complete the sketch so you can click on the ok button you know otherwise uh, you can go for the dimensions so you can set those dimensions you know you can alter them again it is a rough sketch so let it be like this okay let us move it a little bit to the side you yeah. know so i will hit the uh, green check mark button okay okay and now you can see that it has accepted that particular uh, profile because the number of uh, corner points are same but it is not generating that particular uh, result for you and this is because of those start points that they are completely opposite to uh, each other so what you can do now is that uh, if you go back to section number 1 or i can uh, edit section number 2 also so let me edit section number 1 so if i click on section number 1 and then hit the edit key so i can change uh, the location of the start point so let me uh, pick this point or this point uh, it will be okay so if i let us say click on this point so as i said in the last video at first you have to select the point okay highlight that point and then when you uh, hit the right mouse button so a pop up menu appears in which uh, you can modify that point so you can have the blend vertex option the delete option the copy option or the start point option so if i click on the start point so it will take this as the start point for the first entity and you can also change the direction by again selecting that point and then you if you click the uh, start point again so you can change the direction so let me close the first sketch okay now you can see that it has generated that uh, particular result for you uh, because uh, it can now join these two edges and of course uh, the smooth option and the uh, line option the straight edge options are available in the options menu so you can use the straight or the smooth profile option uh, but right now we have two sketches so if you click on the if you select the straight option or the smooth option so it will not be affected uh, so if you have two profiles so uh, nothing uh, happens uh, if you go for the straight option or smooth option because uh, it will remain the same you know so if you have a third uh, section so then uh, it uh, uh, does affect the uh, geometries so let us make another profile as well so um, i will go for another section 
uh, if you are in section number one or section two it doesn't matter when you click the insert key so a third section will be inserted so you can remove uh, any existing section or you can insert a new uh, um, a section for a new profile so if you want to add a third one so i will simply hit the insert key okay. so it will add a third section and then uh, you can uh, activate that uh, you can use the offset uh, dimension distance so let it be again uh, suppose 200 units and now uh, we have two sections so in that particular listing uh, those sections will be available so what will be that 200 uh, unit uh, offset distance it will be from section 1 or section 2 so that will be on your selection so suppose if i want to use section number 2 as my reference for the third one so uh, in between the second profile and third profile the offset parallel distance will be 200 units so once you set the parameters again click on the sketch tab and then it will again bring you back to the sketcher so here again i will make an a profile which will have four endpoints so that must be a square or a rectangle so let me draw that in the same orientation so this will be my first point second third and fourth like the previous one so if i now hit the ok button so now you can see the effect of the straight and smooth so if you set it to straight option so it will try to join these corner points to straight lines and if you click the smooth option so they will join uh, these uh, points through uh, smooth curves options uh, and again uh, if i go back to let us say section number three uh, this one and i hit the sketch key so it will uh, take you back to the uh, that particular sketch and suppose i take this uh, point and then right click and select this as my start point so now you will have that particular twist in between these two sections so this corner will be joined with the uh, first one of uh, the second one, uh, profile so if i hit the ok button so now you can see that effect and you can hit the option key all the time and you can now see that it has joined these corners through straight lines so you can use the smooth option or the straight option and of course uh, you can use the surface option so it will uh, blend these uh, as a surface entity uh, you if you are in the solid so you can use the thick option and then you can give uh, that wall thickness uh, whatever wall thickness uh, is the, the required value so you you can type into that or the thin options be available have to pass so the thickness can be totally to one side or to the other side or it can be set to the uh, mid section uh, by default it will be set to the mid section so half of the thickness will be added to one side of the profile half to the other side this green uh, color entity represents the actual profile you know so it can be totally to what's the internal region outside yeah mid section and of course if you are in the surface so surface may again you will get the uh, open uh, ends uh, but if you want to close uh, that so again you can go to the options or the cap and ka surface uh, command hogi, that will be available so you can uh, use the cap and option to uh, <coughs> close uh, those open uh, regions but still uh, that particular object will be hollow inside you know, so you can use that particular option also so let me change it back to the solid option and once uh, you complete all the uh, requirements so you can simply click on the ok button and you will get the uh, desired result so let me uh, switch back to the pro e uh, i will open that and then we will continue with the rotational and the general blend option okay. so here we are in the 
approach environment. I am in the part module. So, like I said earlier, uh, that uh, these uh, options, blend or sweep options, are not available in the uh, main uh, tab area. So, you have to click the insert tab, and then within the insert, you will find the, that profusion menu. You know, so we have now covered the extrude command, revolve command, uh, sweep command, uh, the blend command. Uh, in the blend, uh, we have covered the uh, rotation, uh, the parallel blend uh, in Pro E as well in the Creo. So uh, I will use the uh, other two options uh, for blending. That is the rotational blend and the uh, <coughs> general type of blending. So, if I uh, go into the sub menu, so I can uh, use that surface option or thin option or protrusion. You know, so again I will go for the solid protrusion. So I will click on the protrusion key. Uh, the main pop up appears. Uh, first, you have to select the, gen, uh, the, the type of the blend, uh, parallel, rotational, or general. You know, so I will hit the rotational option and then again uh, it will be a selection of the sections or sketch sections so we will sketch sections you know and they will be regular sketches so my uh, selection is rotational set to regular section and sketch sections i will hit the done key so now this dialog box uh, will guide us through the rest of the procedure so right now we are in the attributes phase uh, we have to define the attributes uh, for the blend so attributes may as uh, we discussed in the previous video that we can uh, have a, a straight type of blending or smooth blending and uh, as we are in using the rotational options so rotational options may you can have uh, an open circle or you can have a full rotation so these two options are used for that uh, either you will close that sketch or you want to use uh, the open option let me uh, first select the open and later on we can change uh, once we have the blended object so i will set it to the uh, open mode you know so my selection is uh, right now uh, set to straight edges and it will be an open sketch uh, not sketch but an open 3d part uh, and i will click the done key so attributes have now been defined and we will now sketch the section so if you look at this arrowhead so it is pointing to the section and we are in the defining mode or phase of uh, that particular sketch so again uh, methodology remains the same you have to select the plane in the sketching plane so i will uh, select the plane option and here I will select any plane as my sketching plane so suppose front plane uh, view direction ok kar dunga orientation I will click on the default option so I will get that default value and now we are in the sketcher and we can make any sketches so uh, in this uh, part uh, we will also cover one additional feature uh, that is available within the sketch which is the file system so let me first uh, make any sketch so i will use simple lines and will make multiple entities so that okay let me make a simple sketch but i have uh, multiple points within that sketch so make the sketch go for the dimensions uh, accordingly jo bhi aapke dimensions hai uh, and then uh, let me little bit modify that so okay let us say this is uh, your final sketch so uh, now at this point if I hit the uh, check mark button so it will give you this error message uh, 
section is incomplete for reason listed in the message area and if you look into the message area so it is about a coordinate system uh, entity which is missing so let me show you that uh, we are in the blend command but within the blend we are in rotational blend so rotational blend means you have to uh, revolve that profile around certain axis so you need to define that axis for this section uh, but it is asking for the coordinate system and this is because we can rotate or we can revolve the sections uh, along the x-axis, along the y-axis, along the z-axis. So instead of the uh, axis uh, which is available in the line command, uh, you need to define uh, a coordinate system in case of the rotational blend. So coordinate system ka jo icon hai that is available in this uh, last tab of the sketch. Uh, entities a uh, point ka option hai ek aapke paas coordinate system ka option hai so if i click on the coordinate system so uh, i can define now that coordinate system uh, anywhere uh, with reference to that particular entity so for example if i want to revolve uh, this entity uh, along this edge so uh, i can uh, pick this point as my uh, axis of rotation but in that case uh, you uh, will not have any uh, like internal uh, circular hollow spacing uh, in between the revolve object. And suppose uh, let me give some offset distance uh, of the axis from the uh, original entity H. So suppose I define kar deta hon. So once you define that, you can also set the uh, offset distance in between. Uh, your axis and the entity so suppose uh, it is let us say 50 units yeah. so now we, we have we will have that 50 units of uh, hollow uh, space or hole you can say uh, in that revolved object so once you complete the sketch and you define your axis of revolution so then you can hit that check mark button you know so if i click on that so then it will ask you to enter the uh, y axis rotation kyunki humne iske bilkul front page wo hai define kiya hua hai so that axis is basically the y axis so uh, now you have to define another section because we are in the blend command and blend command normally uh, you will need to define multiple sections and it uh, basically joins those sections uh, agar parallel map ho to parallel uh, sketches uh, ya entities aapke paas hongi if you are in the rotational uh, blend option so definitely so then uh, you have to uh, sketch multiple entities which will be at certain rotation angle from uh, one another so let it be 45 degrees so i will click the enter button and then it will uh, bring you to a sub sketcher in which you will have to make the next profile Achha. Baas cases mein ye bhi ho sakta hai ke if you look, look into uh, that particular uh, sketch uh, jo ke pehle abhi, uh, abhi humne first sketch banaya so it, it had multiple uh, endpoints. so sometimes uh, you will not be able to remember the total number of edges or the multiple points so a ready reference will always be available to you so uh, when you are in the sketcher zaruri nahi hai ke aap blend ke option mein ho you can always go back to the uh, sketch tab and then you can find this useful option data from file so if you want to use an existing sketch uh, that you have saved ya current environment mein agar aapke paas koi sketch ho and you want to use that so you can always use this data from file option so when you are in the sketch simply go to the sketch tab and data from file and you can go to the file system you know so if i hit the file system key so it will take you to the uh, file opening uh, session and uh, here uh, you can pick uh, any sketch uh, that you have created in any uh, 
um, like for example in the working directory or in any other folder uh, but if you look into this listing uh, the first tab that is available is the in session tab so in session tab is basically the current session so within the current session uh, right from the start the total number of sketches that you have created uh, that will be temporarily available to you you know so if i click on the in session option so right now humne ye sare sketches jo hai banaye hain you know so if you go back to this one or like this one jo isse pehle humne circle banaya tha you know so that is available so the last will always be the the current jo is waqt jis mein aap kaam kar rahe hain so this this sketch is the last sketch and the second last is the previous one jahan pe humne ye profile banaya tha so if i select that and open this so i can directly insert that sketch with uh, this uh, new uh, sketch environment so uh, you can pick uh, any point as your insertion point so it is it is basically uh, acting like a block that you have used in autocad you know so mai click kar dunga suppose i take this as my insertion point so then Uh, this pop up will appear in which you can set the rotation angle of that sketch and the scale so agar aap one to one karna chahte hain so it will be inserted with the same uh, dimensions with the same scaling factor that you have created otherwise for example agar isko main uh, up scale ya down scale karna chahta hu suppose uh, 0.6 so all the dimensions will be reduced by uh, 60% so let me use this 0.6 scaling factor for the new sketch and if i click on the okay button so it has inserted that particular sketch uh, but uh, the zooming factor of uh, this new environment was a uh, little bit to the denser end so you can uh, unzoom that you know so this is that your sketch which you had created in the previous session and now it has exactly taken the same sketch with the the new scaling factor which is 0.6 units and of course uh, and you can see that that coordinate system has also come with that particular sketch so uh, for the next step then you will not be needing to define uh, the coordinate system you know wo already automatically uske paas aa chuka hai because you already have uh, defined that with that this particular sketch and now uh, you can uh, you have that uh, desired number of uh, edges you know so aapke uh, total number of corners ya total number of end points jo hai wo aapke paas aa gaye hain and now you can uh, modify them also for example if i click this sketch uh, let me modify it a little bit suppose the shape of the next section is like this one okay so i have uh, changed basically the uh, the shape but the number of end points remains the same so this means that you can blend this section with the pre previous one so once you modify your uh, profile uh, and if you have that coordinate system or axis of revolution so simply click on the check mark button so uh, it will accept that and now because uh, for blending you must have at least two sections so you have defined uh, two sections now for the th third section it will ask you first uh, do you want to continue to the next section तो अगर आप कोई तीसरा सेक्शन डिफाइन करना चाहते हैं तो यू कैन क्लिक द यस की अदरवाइज नो आप कर सकते हैं तो सपोज आई वांट टू डिफाइन अ थर्ड सेक्शन आल्सो सो आई विल सिंपली क्लिक ऑन द यस एंड नाउ इट विल आस्क यू टू इंटर द एंगल इन बिटवीन द सेकंड एंड द थर्ड सो इन बिटवीन द फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड सेक्शन द टोटल एंगल ऑफ रोटेशन वॉज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री लेट इट बी नाइन्टी डिग्री आई विल डबल इट and rest of the methodology remains the same it will again take you to the sub sketcher 
हेयर यू कैन स्केच योर प्रोफाइल अगर आपको नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स और प्रोफाइल का आइडिया हो तो यू कैन डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट और यू कैन ऑलवेज यूज दिस डेटा फ्रॉम फाइल ऑप्शन फाइल सिस्टम में अगर आप चले जाएं यू कैन यूज द इन सेशन एंड राइट नाउ दिस इज आवर करंट स्केचर दिस इज द सेकेंड लास्ट इज द प्रीवियस वन और उससे पहले जो आपका ओरिजिनल एंटिटी था सो यू यू कैन पिक एनी स्केच राइट नाउ सो सपोज इफ आई अगेन टेक दैट फर्स्ट सेक्शन एज माई रेफरेंस आई कैन क्लिक ऑन दैट आई हिट द ओपन की इंसर्शन पॉइंट आई विल गिव द स्केलिंग फैक्टर लेट इट बी डिफरेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज पॉइंट एट परसेंट ऑफ द और पॉइंट एट times of the uh, original one and then i will click the okay button and then you can use zoom to fit option ya aap mouse button jo hai wo kar sakte hain click zoom to fit agar aap click kar le so this is now your current uh, sketch uh, which will be treated as a third one and let me again change uh, some of the dimensions so that bit different from the previous one so suppose uh, this is my uh, third section so once you complete the sketch click the okay button and again it will ask you to go for the next section so if you want to make another sections you can use the yes key otherwise you can add the no button so sections have been defined now and now you can go for the preview so you can see that you have got a rotated a blended uh, 3d object so let me change the view orientation to uh, wireframe so you can see let me from this way okay na so this was my uh, first section ye jo aapko nazar aa raha hai theek hai na this is that second section which is at 45 degree uh, from this one and the angle in between this second profile or second section and third section is 90 degree so this is your result and why you are getting those uh, straight edges this is because uh, our attributes are struck uh, are uh, um, selected as the straight options you know so so it will join basically these corners with straight lines so if i go back to the attributes and want to define them and want to set it to smooth options so i can use that and then if you want to check the preview you know so now you have that rotated object so let me turn off uh, these planes and coordinate system so that you can see so this will be your required results and if you look at the cross sectional area it also changes uh, with uh, reference to those particular sections so at the start the thickness of that uh, end edge uh, is uh, larger as compared to uh, the mid section and this is because agar aapko yaad ho to we have uh, changed that dimensions to the uh, lesser value as compared to and this was the third option and other attribute that you can ch change is the uh, open or close option so right now we have uh, if you check the preview you know, so uh, we have open ended uh, entity uh, we have started from this point uh, and it has rotated uh, the body to at 45 degree and then at 90 degree with reference to the section so if you want to close that so close mein kya karega so it will try to join the last uh, profile with the first one uh, whatever radius it is uh, it may require uh, if possible so it will join them otherwise uh, it will give you the error ke ye uh, join nahi ho sakta so if i go back to the attributes definition 
and uh, let me use the straight option so I will set it to straight and then I will use the close options or this program I done karke if I want to check the preview so it will not generate that okay, now because the attributes is set to straight so straight may it cannot make straight lines uh, by using uh, the joining methodology uh, if you want to join the last and the first because angle itna zyada hai ke wo straight lines ke through jo hai wo aap cover nahi kar sakte so in that case uh, you can use the smooth option and now if i use the close option and then done and want to preview that so i can you know so uh, this is uh, your uh, final result which you are getting so uh, it basically starts from this particular sections uh, to that section or chunki humne close kar diya hai so it will try or it will force that object to uh, be a closed revolve object depending upon the shape of the first profile and the last profile so that was a little bit about the uh, rotation type of blend you know so uh, now you can see that parallel blend is basically alternative of the extrude command and rotational blend is alternative of the revolve command uh, in extrude or revolve you can generate the entity uh, it will be generated but the cross sectional area throughout the generated path it remains the same you know extrusion may or revolve may you can revolve uh, an object but throughout the revolution the cross sectional area remains the same so in parallel blending uh, parallel is alternative of extrude extrude mein aapke paas jo hai wo 90 degree pe uh, generation hoti hai so similarly you can get that 90 degree generation or normal generation using the parallel blending but in addition to that you can also change the cross sectional area of that particular solid and similarly here in in revolve uh, or rotational blend Uh, we can revolve uh, an entity uh, to convert it to a solid and in ad addition to that we can also change the cross sectional areas uh, during that uh, revolution and the third command that we did for normal uh, generation was the sweep command so in extrude uh, you can generate uh, normal to an entity revolve mein aap ke uh, paas revolved object aata hai and sweep mein Uh, you can uh, go in any direction in a particular plane but again the cross sectional area of that generated solid will remain the same so if you want to go in any direction and you also want to change the cross sectional area so for that you will then go for the third option of the blend which is the uh, general blend option so for general blend i already have uh, created a sketch and simply i will open that file for you so let me go to my working directory so i do have that general plan command isko main open kar deta hu let me delete this So these are different sketches that I have created, and let me turn on the uh, plane option for you. So what I did in this case is that you can see different planes. So in addition to those default planes, I have defined uh, sketching planes, the datum planes at various angles, and then on those uh, planes I have created uh, different sketches. But you can see. that the number of uh, corner points or the number of edges remains the same on all in your rectangles hai sir you know so blend mein aapne ye yaad rakhna hoga ke number of end points or the number of edges uh, must be same for all the entities so let me again turn off the planes so i have these sketches uh, and now i can go for the blending 
you know, so so you can see that these sketches uh, are going in different directions you know, so orientation we may change kiya hua angle bhi change kiya hua hai you know so if i go to insert uh, blend uh, protrusion mein and within the protrusion if you go for a general type of blending so again you have the sketch uh, select uh, section and select section option so here i have already the sketches so i will go for the selection method so yahan pe ye select ka option jo hai ye bhi hum cover kar lenge theek hai so now my setting for this type of blend is the general regular section and that regular section is a select section already existing section. so i will hit the done key so it will ask for the attributes straight or smooth so jo bhi aap select karte hain later on we can change that and then it will ask for that selection because humne selection ka opt kiya tha so now uh, i can use the pick curve option or the blend vertex option or start point option uh, once uh, you select a profile so uh, select profile ke liye ye tab aapke paas hai so you can go for selection of the curve select loop or select chain you know so i have uh, loops basically a closed entity so i can instead of using इंडिपेंडेंट एजेस ये भी आप यूज़ कर सकते हैं बट यू हैव टू दैन सेलेक्ट ऑल द फोर एजेस ऑफ दैट रेक्टेंगल यू कैन गो फॉर द लूप सेलेक्शन यू कैन गो फॉर द चेन सेलेक्शन लूप जो है वो क्लोज एंटिटीज में आप सेलेक्ट करेंगे और चेन का जो है वो ओपन एंटिटीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ़ यू हैव मल्टीपल आर्कस और कर्व्स विच आर ज्वाइंट Uh, to one another so then you can use the chain option and by selecting any of the entity uh, the whole uh, set of chain uh, lines or curves will be selected so i will go for the loop option and uh, wherever point to click uh, it will take the whole loop as the uh entity selection and by default it has taken uh, this as the start point or ye aapka direction hai so you can use the blend vertex options if you want to join uh, one point or one corner with multiple corners of the other entity otherwise you can also go for the start point option and you can change that start point so let let this is our first entity so suppose this is my first point so after selecting the loop uh, then you can uh, click on the okay button and then uh, done return jab aap karenge so selection se bahar nikal aayega and then you still you are in that particular profile and you can go for a blend vertex or start point or you can delete that point so if i click the done button so then it will ask for the selection of the Uh, second uh, section because uh, again we are in the blending so in blend you must at least have two uh, profiles so again i will go for the loop selection or i will select the second loop and suppose this is my second loop so now uh, you can see that it has taken this as the start point you know or iska yahan pe hai so it will you will get that particular twist in between those two objects so uh, within that uh, profile i can go for the start point option and then i can pick any point as the start point so again uh, start point or agar main ye point select karta hu so this will become the start point agar aap ye point karte hain so ye aapka start point hoga you know so aapka ye point start point so once uh, you are satisfied so you can click on the okay or you can directly hit that done button you know so let us move step by step i will click on the okay button and now when i click on the done button so then it will ask you to uh, either you want to go for the next section or not so that will depend upon you ke agar next section jo hai wo aap uh, select karna chahte hain so if i hit the yes key and then i pick let us say uh, the loop option mein uh, if i take this point as my 
अगेन स्टार्ट पॉइंट जो है वो आपका ये होगा आई विल क्लिक द ओके बटन एंड देन हिट द डन की कंटिन्यू टू नेक्स्ट सेक्शन तो इन दिस वे यू कैन गो फॉर द सेलेक्शन सो लेट मी टेक वन मोर सेक्शन फॉर I will take this as my start point. Okay. Okay. So now these are the start points. So you will get that smooth uh, generation of the uh, profiles. Okay. So done again. So you can go for the other sections. Uh, so let me stop at this point. So this I will no kar deta hu. You know. And now if I want to check the preview, so you can see that. Uh, it is now generating that particular 3D solid for you using the general blend command. You know, and I can go back to the attributes. I can use the smooth options. And done, and then check the preview. You know? So this is now my uh, required result you know, that I am getting. You know? So similarly, you can go in any. So here you can see that you can go in any direction at any angle. And also, you can change the uh, cross-sectional area of that blended object. So that's it uh, right now for uh, the general type of blending. You know? And we do have uh, these options available uh, in the Creo also. So if you go to the uh, shapes option, so you can use the rotational blend or the uh, general type of blend option. So rotational may. अगर आप देखें तो यू हैव ऑल दोज फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल यू कैन गो फॉर द स्केच सेक्शन यू कैन गो फॉर द सेलेक्शन एंड वंस यू डिफाइन योर फर्स्ट स्केच सो दैन इट विल आस्क यू द एक्सेस ऑफ रेवोल्यूशन सो यहाँ पर आपने देना होगा सो लेट इज लेट मी मेक वन स्केच सो इफ आई गो फॉर लेट एस ए द स्केच सेलेक्शन ऑप्शन एंड दैन फर्स्ट स्केच मैं डिफाइन करना चाहूँ सपोज इस प्लेन पे सो यू विल मेक अ स्केच एनी स्केच जो कि मैंने बनाया उस प्रीवियस केस में सो लेट से दिस इज योर फर्स्ट स्केच ओके एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू विल नीड टू डिफाइन दैट एक्सेस बिकॉज यू आर वर्किंग इन द revolve blend option so let it be let this be our axis so if i hit the okay key so now when you go to the sections so you can generate another section but here our reference will be the rotation angle you know so agar yahan pe for example mai uh, offset dimension mein let us uh, uh, use the 45 degree angle again and if i hit the sketch tab so it will rotate uh, that particular view for you uh, at 45 degree angle and now you can uh, make another sketch or here that file system tab is uh, readily available jo ke apne wahan pe use kiya so you can always go to the file system uh, you can uh, go to your working directory or you can go to the in session and within the in session uh, you can pick the uh, the last Uh, the second last uh, sketch, uh, which was this one, you know, and then you can set that scaling factor. And jo bhi aapka hai, for example, one to one agar aap karte hain, so that will be one. And also, uh, you can give some rotation angle. Wo hamne yahan yahan pe nahi kiya. Proi mein yahan pe maaf bata deta hu. So uh, it is exactly behaving like a blocks in art. so once you have inserted that sketch hit the okay button and then uh, you can uh, modify that dimension jo bhi aap dimension modify karna chahte hain theek hai so you can modify that and then you will hit the okay key or phir जो भी आपका रिक्वायर्ड एंगल होगा उस एंगल पे आपका जो है वो डिजायर रिजल्ट आ जाएगा सो मैथडोलॉजी इन बोथ सिनारीज रिमेन्स द सेम आइर यू आर वर्किंग इन 
cryo environment or uh, pro e environment uh, but uh, in pro e uh, normally uh, dialog boxes appear and through those dialog boxes you can easily uh, move forward step by step and in creo uh, you have to uh, invoke uh, those commands through the dialog box not through the dialog box but through the dashboard area by yourself you know so uh, it is always better for the beginners to start with the pro e you know so once you get that idea so then you can move or you can switch to any creo uh, version uh, uh, right now i am working in creo 6 but uh, creo 7 jo hai wo bhi release ho gaya hai so nowadays the latest uh, version is uh, creo parametric 7 you know? so that's it for uh, this video uh, inshallah in the next video we will cover the uh, helical sweep option and the swept blend option